a 2021 digit number is multiplied by 54. Straight away, I know I cannot do this question algebraically. I cannot write down a 2021 digit number. The last digit is 2 and the second last digit is 4. So I have a 2021 digit number. It's multiplied by 54. Last digit is 2. Second last is 4. And this is 42 like this. The same number, the same number, let's call this number as n. Same number n is multiplied by 46. What will be the last two digits? Brilliant, brilliant question. Find one of my favorite questions. Right? I'm going to do this by a very painful, slow method and then give you a beautiful method at the end of it. If I do it the other way around, you won't listen to the painful method. Right? Suppose I multiply this in a traditional way. That means you're going to write down a lot of digits here. When multiplied by 4, leave out one slot. I write down a lot of digits here. Lovely, brilliant. So I'm going to think about when I multiply by 4, this digit here has to be 2. Nice, that is obvious because this 2 is only going to come here. Right? So now I'm going to think about just this digit. What can this be? I don't care about the 2021 digit number. I care only about the units digit, nothing else. The unit digit were 1, 4 into 1 would be 4, doesn't work. 4 into 2 would be 8, doesn't work. 4 into 3 would be 12, that works, it could be 3. 4 into 4 is 16, this will be 6, doesn't work. 4 into 5, 20, 0, doesn't work. 4 into 6, 24, nope, nope, I want this digit to be 2. 4 into 7, 28, no. 4 into 8, 32. That works, so it could be 8. 4 into 9, 36. This has to be 6. That doesn't work. 4 into 10, 4 into 0, 0, not 0. The unit digit of our 2021 digit number is either 3 or 8. Lovely, brilliant. Now I'm going to break it into two parts. So now I have a 2021 digit number, n in 3 multiplied by 54 or 2021 digit number ends with 8 multiplied by 54. Brilliant. Now I multiply this 4 plus 3 is 12, 4 into 3 is 12, 2 and 1 carried over. Right. 5 into 3 is 15, this digit would be 5. And then my last two digits are 4, 2. Just writing down that product. Nothing more than that. Here, what could it be? 4 into 8 is 32. 2, 3 carried over. 5 into 8 is 40. 0, 4 carried over. My total is 42. The last digit could be 8 or 3. That much we know. That much we have inferred. Now think about this. This, this 4 into 3 is 12, 2 and 1 carried over, 5 into 3 is 15, this is 5, I carry over a 1 from the previous sum or leave out even this carry over, this is 5, this is 4, what should be here for this total to end up to 1, so forget this one, that is perhaps confusing, so I am going to delete this, I am going to delete this, this digit is 5, what should be sitting here for us to get a 4? Think about that. What number here will give us a 4 here? This 2 drops down. Something plus 5 ends in a 4. This cannot be 4. This has to be 14 with something carried over. Or this has to be 9. Brilliant. In this case, 5 into 8 is 40. This is 0. This is 2. 4 into 8 is 32. What should go before that? This should also be 4. But I already have a 1 carried over here. 4 into 8 is 32. Not just a 1, 3 carried over. 32 is. So 4 into something plus 3 should be 4. Not possible. 4 into 8 is 32. 2, 3 carried over. And then this digit, even if it is 1, 4 into 1 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. It's not possible. It can never be 4. 42. It's not a multiple of 4. 
this number cannot be a multiple of 4. So this can never be 4. Or this possibility is ruled out. Our only possibility is this being 92. Brilliant. That this digit is 3. That digit cannot be 8. This completely we kill. Nice. Well, this is 3. Let's see what we can infer about this digit. This has to be 9. 4 into something plus 1 carried over. 4 into something plus 1 should be 9. 4 into what plus 1 is 9? 4 into 2, 8 plus 1 is 9. This could be 2. Nice. But not just that. This need not be 9. This just has to end in 9. Right? So 4 into 2, 8 plus 1 is 9. 4 into 3, 12 plus 1 is 13. 4 into 4, 16 plus 1 is 17. 4 into 5, 20 plus 1 is 21. Doesn't work. 4 into 6, 24 plus 1 is 25. Doesn't work. 4 into 7, 28 plus 1 is 29. That will work again because this will be 9 with the 2 carried over. So these two digits could be 23 or 73. Now we are getting somewhere. So if my last two digits were 23, I multiply by 54. My last two digits will be 42. My last two digits were 73. I multiply by 54. My last two digits will be 4. Two. Why? 4 into 3, 12, 2, 1. 4 into 8, 8 plus 1, 9, 5 into 3, 15, 5, 1 carried over, 2, 14 works, 4 into 3, 12, 2, 1 carried over, 28 plus 1, 29, 9, 2 carried over, 5 into 3, 15, 5 works. So my last two digits could be 23 or 73. Brilliant. Now I've got this far. I want to think about multiplying by 46. So what do I do? The last two digits could be 23 or 73. I'm going to assume both. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to knock this off. I'm going to knock this off. I'm going to knock this off. And I'm going to say, hey, interesting so far. Now I'm going to multiply this with 46. Multiply this with 46. Let's see where it takes me. 6 3s are 18. 8, 1. 6 2s are 12. 12 plus 1, 13, 3, 1. 4 3s are 12, 2, 1 carried over. Or this will be 8, 3 plus 2 is 5. Likewise here, 6 3s are 18, 8, 1. 6 7s are 42, 42 plus 1, 43, 3, 4 carried over. 4 into 3, 12, 2, 1 carried over. Add these two, 8 and 5. Or the last two digits. In both cases, is 58. That's what we want. Obviously, we cannot find this 2021 digit number. Just not possible. But if you do this methodically, then you can find what could be the last two digits. There are still two possibilities. But for both those possibilities, if you multiply by 46, the last two digits is 58. 5, 8. That works. Now I'm going to tell you the shortcut. A much simpler way of doing this. Right? There is this number n, 2021 digit number. I multiply n into 54. I get some large number, 42. And the last two digits are 42. We want to find this number n multiplied by 46. What are the last two digits? Tough question, obviously. So is it n into 54, n into 46? n into 46, we need to find the last two digits. What am I going to do? I multiply a number by 54, I multiply a number by 46. I look at this and say, look, nice, 54, 46. I'm going to open my eyes and see, hey, brilliant, 55, 54, 46. There's something that pops out. Is there some genius sitting in 54 plus 46? 54 plus 46 is 100. If I add these two numbers, it is nothing but n into 100. n into 100, n is a 2021 digit number. Obviously, I cannot find n into 100. I don't even know n. But the one beautiful thing I know about n into 100 is that the last two digits are 0. So this last two digits is 42. This last two digits is something. These two last two digits should be 0. 2 plus something is 0. That unit place has to be 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. 0. 1 carried over. 1 plus 4, 5. This has to be 5. 10, 58, 2. 54 plus 46 is 100. If you choose that idea, you can write down this answer in seconds. This number gives 42. This number gives 58. 
you add these two numbers, the last two digits should be 0, 0. That works. This gives 42. If you add these two, you get 0, 0. The missing part of the jigsaw is 5858. 54 plus 46 is 100. You use that idea, we are through. An absolutely delightful question. Beautiful, difficult, but delightful.